My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the darkspawn siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all he saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden, the first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Garahel four centuries ago. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it. I only wish to serve the crown, your majesty. A title and riches to go with it, I think. I ask that the Mayhem Circle and Major be given its independence. The sacrifices of the warden should not be forgotten again. I have no need of anything further. I do not have, um, no, I'll have to think about it. The sacrifices of the little wardens should not, uh, should not be forgotten again. Now that's a very good point. I think we can begin with a monument here in Denerim, dedicated to the Grey Wardens who have fallen. Duncan, Riordan, all of them. And it is high time some scholars were collected to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again, with the Dwarves as well as here. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Howe, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? The Darkspawn are still a threat. The Grey Wardens need me. I think I will travel, at least for a time. I intend to find Morgan. I don't know yet, we'll see. I think we'll need you'll need my help. That they do. I'm glad one of us is staying with them at least. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. It's so good to be done! It's so good! Alistair. So, we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. But of course you would make it. I knew you would. I just don't understand how you're still alive. I guess Riordan was wrong? Morgan saved me. I had no idea. I suppose that makes sense. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. She doesn't want to be followed. Very dramatic. I don't imagine she'd be easy to find if she didn't want to be. Oh, at any rate, I can see Arleman giving me that look. More king stuff, I suppose. I can never wait. And if I don't get the chance some other time, thanks for everything. This is hardly goodbye. I know, but I'm king now. And that means things will change. I guess we'll see. I'll let you get to your adoring public. They want to see the hero of Ferelden, and who am I to keep them waiting? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ciao! How incredible that it survived. It has exceeded my expectations. Thank you? It is welcome. I'll point out that my expectations are difficult to exceed. Thankfully, it appears to be the exception when it comes to its kind. Otherwise, I might be forced to revise my opinion completely. But I will go now. I am thinking I will return to Orzammar. Perhaps I will fight the dark spawn in the deep roads. Clear them out for good. They remind me of pigeons. It might take a while. It appears that time is a luxury I possess. The blight may be over, but the dark spawn will just go underground once again. 
Perhaps I can do something to aid the dwarves. It is a worthy quest. Something worth existing for. Does that make sense? It, yes, it does. Good. Perhaps I will see it again one day. I hope so. For a flesh creature, it has been excellent company. Oh, well, thank you, Shao. I love you, too. Irving. It is very strange to hear so many speak of a mage in such glowing terms. Deserved, of course, but still not what I am accustomed to. Allow me to offer you my congratulations and my thanks. The tower is now nearly restored to order. It could have been so much worse. It almost was. Indeed. Let us hope the people never realize how close we came to disaster. It pleases me to see such a young pupil achieve prominence. I look forward to watching what you accomplish next. Now, I should leave you to your celebration. <laughs> Holdred's revolt has left me very quick to tire these days. Retirement will come soon, I think. Mm hmm. Liliana. So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. You should be taking a bow with me. And my part was small. I'm happy to watch you receive the accolades. It's quite fun. You know. I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly really is. You should know. I'm thinking of going back to Orle for a while, to find Marjolaine. I don't know how long I'll be gone. I'll go with you. Uh, actually, no, um, are you coming back? I'll try. This is something I have to do, however, on my own. Perhaps we will see each other when I return. I look forward to it. Until then, be well. May the Maker watch over you. Aw, oh, thank you, Liliana. Arl Eamon. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the Civil War and then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. I'm a Grey Warden. That's what we do. <laughs> so I'm learning. It's too bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isolde refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me, have you noticed anything? Strange about the lad. He seems quiet. Consider what he's been through. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. But here I am rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. I think I see another friend here. No, just a dwarf. Okay. Already spoken to Liliana. Severin. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment, which would be a welcome break, mind you. You don't have to say, you know. And leave you to face the unwashed masses alone? Perish the thought. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you were planning on returning to the Grey Warden Fold soon. Is that true? Why? You think you're not joining? A Grey Warden? Me? Oh, no, no, no. There are some bodily fluids even I won't touch. The Grey Wardens seem to be a fun bunch to hang around, however. Maybe they won't mind a resident assassin. I'm an excellent mascot. I'd be happy for the company. Then let us not spend any time apart. It shall be an adventure to remember. Well, another one. 
<laughs> well then, since we're going to be leaving together, uh, we can speak after you have been sufficiently paraded in front of the populace. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. Oh, Zephyrin, I love you, but god damn it, I can't trust you. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? It's a little strange. Of that, I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? I didn't do it on my own. I don't think many heroes ever do. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as the first enchanter. But I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not been a mage advising the throne for a very long time. Alistair asked you to say. He's a good lad, and his heart is in the right place. He wants to see the lot of mages improved, and I am willing to help him. I understand you will be leaving. I wish you good fortune on your journeys, wherever they may take you. If we do not see each other again, live well, Warden. And thank you. Ah. <sighs> oh, Grin. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. <laughs> the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Enjoying yourself already, I see. After what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're heading off soon, huh? Leaving the city? Yep, that's the plan. That is the plan. I'm thinking I'll stick around myself. <laughs> At least for a bit. I got offered a spot in the human army. <laughs> and not as a mascot either. You know, these humans aren't bad for all their long legs. You done adventuring? Uh... General Ogren. Not bad. Yeah, makes me wish Bronca was still around so she could see what she's missing. <laughs> yeah, stupid girl. Ah, well, enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. Yeah, <laughs> take care of yourself, Ogren. Been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. Oh, I won't, my friend. Sten and Doggo. I call you hero. I have not heard it used before, but I think I understand the intent. The Arishak on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. Do the Kunari celebrate and put on parades? When a Kunoran Veil is declared, certainly. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. <laughs> I didn't think uh, uh, that would be quite a sight. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. That will be a long trip home. Yes. I suspect Parvolin will not look the same as it once did. My views have changed a little. It must be said. You gave me the chance to redeem my honor, and now it is done. I owe you a debt. You helped me as well. It's been good. It has. That one of the Baz, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps I shall see you again one day. 
Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. Farewell, Sten. Doggo! I can't speak to Doggo, no! Do I, why not? Why can't I speak to Doggo? Oh, my good boy. <sighs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time we go out to the masses. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds outside are getting restless. Yes, I'm ready to go. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. In the months that follow his uh, coronation, Alistair proved to be a popular king. It's largely unwilling to involve himself in matters of governing. He traveled often and making appearances in towns throughout Threlden to the great delight of the commoners. They refer to him as the king, um, as a king with the common touch, even if few knew it was a simple aversion to life at court. New uh, news that the urn of sacred ashes had been found in Ferelden did not spread outside the Chantry until Brother Genitivi made an announcement several months after the defeat of the Darkspawn. The manuscript detailing his research and his experience with Andraste's cult drew huge interest among scholars throughout Sam Thetis. Some years later, the Chantry announced that the resting place of Andraste's ashes had indeed been found. They were located, however, in uh, ruins that were also the lair of a high dragon, thus proving too dangerous to approach. Many, de uh, many made demands to secure the ashes so that its followers could undertake pilgrimage is to partake of their healing powers. Following numerous failed attempts to deal with the dragon, the beast finally flew off to find another haven but leaving the mo mountain-type sanctum, um, sanctum in ruins. An evacuation found no traces of the urn. People began to doubt the, the ashes had even been found, while others claimed that a cult of Andraste's followers stole them from the temples. Uh, still, others say that the maker himself removed the urn, deeming mankind unworthy of it. For now, what happened to the urn is simply unknown. Following months of effort, the Tower of Circle of Magi was finally cleansed of the last spirit to slip through the veil. No further abominations were created, and First Enchanter Irving was pleased to declare the circle safe. All that could have been um, could have been saved. With the slavers shut down and alienage, the lot of the city-born elves improved for a time. The new king even named the local elder to his personal court. A scandal among the humans, but a sign of new hope to the elves. Uh, Shiani uh, continued to be an outspoken member of the alienage community and in time became the new elder. That outspokenness earned her frequent trouble but served her people well. Arl Eamon remained in Denerim and for some time acting as the um, chancellor and chief advisor to King Alistair. Tegan rolled over Redcliffe in his steed, and was um, in his stead, and was surprised to find himself well loved by the villagers, who were still grateful for the nights he spent defending their lives. In time, Eamon um, um, abdicated in favor of um, abdicated in favor of his brother, an event the locals greeted with approval and enthusiasm. The Dalish elves prospected after the siege of Denerim. Uh, uh, prospered, I mean. The De um, Dalish elves prospered after the siege of Denerim, having earned enough, so much respect for their part in the battle. For once, human land become um, welcome to the wandering folk. The new keeper, Lanaya, uh, was respected among uh, both among the Dalish as well as in the Ferelden court. She was a voice of reason, and other Dalish. Um, clans would turn to her to help resolve disputes with human folk. In time, many of the Dalish clans moved to the new lands provided for them in the south near Ostagar. Where is their human neighbors, however, tension soon arose again, um, and only um, Keeper Lanaya leadership kept peace alive. In Ozamar, King Haramont uh, found himself in a pret um, protracted battle against Belns rebellion that left him unable to gain the stability he needed. The clan's um, lords objected to many of his measures in the assembly, and only his efforts to increase the dwarves' isolation from the surface met with any success. 
In time, Harriman's health began to fail. Some claimed it was poison, while others said it was a flagging spirit. Either way, after a protracted illness, the king finally passed away. The ram wrangling in the assembly for his successor became, uh, began almost immediately. Brother Burkle's new chantry in Ozamar drew a surprising number of converts among the dwarves. Uh, dwarves, I mean. Uh, they quickly attracted a great deal of anger from more conservative quarters, and more. Uh, and before long, the assembly uh, so severely restricted the unjust, uh, restricted the unjustin's rights. Brother Burkle resisted and was slain while being arrested during a peace uh, peaceful demonstration in the commons. The assembly claimed this was an accident, but news of the resulting riots reached the chantry on the surface, where the divine even contemplated a new exalted march. Although the anvil of the void was destroyed, rumors about its location crept into Ozamar. Years later, thanks to the defeat of the darkspawn on the surface, a few determined smiths managed to locate the anvil's remains. They examined the ruins of the anvil and upon returning to Ozmar with their findings, convinced the Shaperate to attempt to recreate um, Caradon's research. A new golem was created, bound with a spirit taken from the Fade. The golem immediately went insane, killing several Shapers before it was destroyed. The research was branded excessively dangerous and sealed away. Whispers of its existence circulated throughout Ozmar. However, and... Uh, uh, Okay, uh, whispers of its existence circulated throughout Ozmar, however, and demand among the Smith's cast to reopen Caridon's um, research refused to abate. As good as their word, Morgan disappeared once the Archdemon was slain. Some of Mor someone of Morgan's description was seen traveling alone months later, heading west through the Frostback mo uh, Mountains, and may even have been with a child. There was no word of her after that. With Thomas dead, or at least gone, the chances of tracking her down were slim indeed. One cannot help but wonder, however, what became of the child? What were Morgan's plans? These questions must remain a mystery for now. The companions who traveled with Orham, um, Orpheus uh, eventually scattered to the four winds drawn either by personal duty or the call to further adventure. The Grey Wardens welcomed their hero back into the fold, even if the suspicions of those who won um, wondered how Orpheus managed to survive were somehow given quiet voice. As the Blighted Lands began to heal and the Grey Wardens slowly rebuild the Order in Amaran Am Amaranthan, uh, they discovered that the fight against the Darkspawn was not yet complete. Although the horde was routed and uh, had dissolved upon the Archdemon's death, many of the more powerful Darkspawn survived to organize roving war bands that preyed both upon the land and upon each other. These war bands spread havoc, and some even journeyed west into Orle or across the Shining Sea by the deep roads. They proved incredibly difficult to wipe out. But these are tales yet to be told. These tales end when Orpheus sank his blade in the Archdemon's head and destroyed it forever. It was not the last um, that Ferelden would hear of him, however. Oh my god, it's done, ladies and gentlemen, we're done. We're fucking done, boys. Yes, thank you. God, okay. Um, I know, I, I sound too excited for being done with this game, but listen, 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 okay? This game was a pain in my ass, and so that's why I'm so excited to be done with it. But anyways, um, I, I'm gonna call it here, honestly, because, like, let me check this out real quick, just to be sure. Uh. Um. It's all enabled. Yeah, all the download contents enabled, so I don't know. Uh, other campaigns? What? Tale of Ozmar. Witch Hunt. Awakening. Um, We're not going to play these. We're not going to play these. We're not going to play these. Maybe a different time, but not today. We beat the main game. That's okay with me. I'm fine with that. Because, God... 
damn it, this game is such a pain in the ass. I'll probably play all the DLC for the other games, but uh, for this one, no. We're gonna we're gonna call it here for that. Anyways, um, you know what? Uh, why not? We'll pull out Nogla for this one. Ugh, come here, Nogla. Come here, Nogla. I had to reach for him. All right, Nogla, what do you have to say about Dragon Age Origins, this long-ass game that took forever for me to be? Wait, what? I couldn't hear what he said. Well, that's definitely... That's definitely... Okay, whatever he said the first time... Uh... I think he said Jerry Cam for the win. I think so. <laughs> Jerry Cam for the win. He said it's gasoline for the win, basically. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I really should stop pulling out Nogla for this shit. Because it, it doesn't make any sense anyways. Maybe he just wants to set this game on fire. Maybe that's what it is. You know what, Nogla? If that's the case, I agree. I want to set this game on fire, too. <laughs> anyways... Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I have so many other games that I've played, and I'm going to play even more games. And if you're interested in Dragon Age, I'm going to be starting up Dragon Age 2 right after this in the same sequence that I did Dragon Age. So, uh, four videos from now, uh, Dragon Age Origins, not Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2 will be coming out. Uh, the first episode of that, at least. And if you're interested at all, please feel free to watch or... I have other series you can watch. I'd love to have you along for the ride. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!